and they don't uh, like fantasy, dark fantasy, and medieval. It seems a bit superfluous to me. Especially history. Medieval's history, isn't it? And you also have crime and detective and, you know, it's a bit much. Government, uh, strategy, and this one's PC as well. Does it have graphics? I don't think it should have graphics. I think that toward a perpetual piece should be text. And not just because it is in real life, but because it's what makes the most sense. Pull this down a little more. Alright. Uh, definitely a governing strategy. Uh, we're going to define republics. And what rights are possessed by states. I am like totally exhausted though. Part of me is almost tempted to just go to sleep. I did test out the new lights and they seem fine. I'm worried about them lasting all the way through a show. But I know that I'm just wasting the battery pie now. Especially since nobody's watching. Ooh, that might be an issue. They're difficult to switch on and off because of the precarity of their... See? Where I've got them set up at. I don't think this is going to work. Not only are they precarious, and the magnet's kind of bad, and the switch is difficult to use, but uh, furthermore, it's going to be an issue because I can't get them to, uh, I'm not going to know if the batteries need to be changed until it's too late. It's going to be an ongoing issue um, because of what I, I'm going to need to do rechargeable batteries and such. Uh, yes, I'll release DLC for quarter perpetual piece. Alright, let's work out these bugs a little bit here. Perfect. You gotta be careful, because sometimes they'll throw in a last little bug and fuck up your shit. Yeah, see, I don't think we're getting, I don't feel like we're getting any experience over here. No, we're not moving yet. Uh, maybe we can develop a sequel now to uh, critique the reason. Um, we're going to call this... Critique oops, of Pure Reason 2. Uh, wrong about black people. It's too long. I think we have to call it Pure Reason 2. Pure Reason 2. Wrong about Lex. And this one we'll, we'll put on the sequels only available on arcade cabinets. That'd be weird. Uh, gotta be for PC. You should stick with text. With the person who's text. Ah, oh, reviews for for the perpetual peace. Uh, it's not promising. People don't seem to like it very much. better than, it's better than eating your own feces, I guess. Uh, uh. Okay. Let's see if Pure Reason 2 gets us anywhere. Crisis of Enlightenment is now off the market. Uh, I would like to note that we've lost $2 million. Just putting that out there. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Dialogues. Little designs gotta... Gotta be middling. Yeah, it's gotta come down. Uh. Oh yeah, contract work. Yeah, I think I'd rather eat my own feet. Uh, you need to come way up and you need to come way down. Which breaks my heart, because I like sound. Ooh, NES. We're gonna get on that real fucking quick. Okay. Come on, fix the last one. And don't throw another last minute one in. Hey, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Alright. Develop a sequel. Uh, toward a perpetual peace becomes... Perpetual peace to Corpus. No, uh, we want uh, Prussian Corpus. Hell yeah. This one's gonna do gangbusters. People love porpoises. Alright. Uh oh. Critiques are in for pure reason. Oh, they don't like it. They don't like it. We're getting a lot of like fucking fives this time around. You noticed? Ooh, that one's real bad. Okay, this this one is not this one does not do well. Uh, go, Prussian porpoise. Save our our res our car. Save my reputation as a as a video gamesman. As it would be put by my hero and yours, Jim Sterling. Thank God for him. Uh, DLC's been released, didn't do so great. At least the DLC just ended fans more. You know what? I'm starting to get mad. I think we're not doing any more DLC until like tonight. To go, no, I won't. Go. I am sad. Lonely and hurt. And hungry. My God, I'm hungry. No, get out of here. No more DLC for you. You had your chance. Stupid fans. I hate those people. Alright. Russian porpoise. See what you get for us. I'm waiting for it. Fuck off, 3700. I had a 3700 when I was much younger. By which I mean much younger than even just a child. Another more fives? What the fuck? This is ridiculous. We're just getting fucking fives. Forever. Uh, Crisis of Enlightenment it doesn't deserve a sequel. We're doing a sequel anyway. We're gonna kowtow to our demands of this one. We're gonna call this Enlightenment Two. Uh, 
with guns. And yet, we're gonna make it less action. Okay, wait, I did something wrong. Uh, this one's a strategy. And it's also on PC. Yeah. And we have to have graphics from now on. The Nintendo. Yes. I mean, Invento. This seems perfect. Uh, two months. Smart television will be taken off the market. I didn't know about the original smart television, which preceded today's smart TVs. But apparently that was a thing. Fascinating. Azen has recently released a sequel to their game toward a perpetual peace, newest game in the series, uh, Perpetual Peace 2, Prussian Porpoise, met with moderate responses. Major negative reaction came from fans who felt that the original coming out to second King 17. Oh my god, we did this in weeks? I didn't think this was weeks. I thought this was like months. I was off by a factor of four or five. No, it just makes you mad. And I do. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Come on! Three. Not bad. No, stop talking to me. We're actually losing money. Uh, develop new game. Um, this is... Categorical imperative. Except spelled hilariously. All right. Um, it is an expedition into ethics. Um, it's not hacking. Hmm. Pirate. Uh, life. It's not law. It might be life. I don't know if we're gonna do any casual. I don't see Kant is doing most is doing very much as casual. Um, I think that this is we want to call it simulation. I think it's simulation. And let's put this one on the should we should we do arcade cabinets or should we jump to the Nintendo? I think it might be a bit early for the Nintendo. Did you pick simulation? Yeah, this is a simulation. This won't work on either. This one's got to be on PC. I'm sorry to say. We'll make our next one for the Nintendo. Enlightenment 2 with guns! Oh, come on! Four? Really? I just can't get a hit to save my life. Uh, more. Television, yeah, smart television is gone. Mento's massive success.
Uh, Pure Reason 2, Wrong About Blacks, is now off the market. Didn't do very well. Uh, Prussian Porpoise didn't do really well either. With Invento's massive success, the decline of the Atari, uh, Mattel Toys, Martel Toys, oh nice. And Calerico, oh the Arati. Have announced the discontinuation of their console lines, Smart Television and Colorcavision. Colorcavision? Oh, what was that sound? It got all thumpy. I don't know what that thumpiness was about. Why are there four people here? Uh, the slack on the game engine. Uh, you kind of have to, uh, because the game says so. Apparently, it's not an important factor. So, let's see. Uh, dialogues apparently don't matter in a life simulation. I would say that the categorical imperative is an excellent dialogue, and it certainly doesn't have a lot to do with level design. <laughs> I guess the categorical imperative was designed on the level. I can't say much for its artificial intelligence, though. Uh, Bioware wants you to think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, if Bioware had come up with the categorical imperative, well, first of all, we'd have had to have waited a lot longer for it. I'm just trying to get people to enact that maxim which they could will to be a universal law while treating every person as an end in and of themselves and never as a means only. It's up to them whether or not they're going to pay money for it. Does the categorical imperative require DLC? Yes. Yes, it does. Because the second formulation is... The second formulation counts as DLC. The first formulation was just enacting maxims, right? All right. Let's see how we did. New record. I still don't feel like we're getting the experience we need to be getting. I don't, I don't understand why it seems like it's less experienced than it was in the past. All right. New reviews for Categorical Imperative. Where do all these people come from? Suddenly there was like five people in here, but it was just for a minute. Eight! Hell yeah, they like it! This one's getting me somewhere. Hell yeah, keep giving me eights. It's been sixes for, for so long. Ooh, that one even went up to a nine. Hell yeah! All right. We're doing good. Uh, I would like you to explain to me why that worked, because it's the first one I've had that's done any king that's done any good at all. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Apology lessons and turning them into games. No, uh, philosophy. Immanuel Kant was um, the philosopher responsible for the uh, definition of reason. Your DLC has been released. Categorical Imperative got good enough score, 19.9 thousand copies. You made um, $60,000. Okay. Uh, we're still not back to the 10 million we started with. I've still squandered an unbelievable amount of money. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's try something else. Let's develop a new game. We're going to specifically make something for arcade games now. Um, and we're going to call it... Uh, revolution in philosophy. Uh, the, the revolution in philosophy. Um, it's pretty alien. It's not got very many ninjas in it. I guess one's going to be school as well. And uh, we are taking action for sure, although that's only an okay combination. Uh, maybe we'll call this one casual. No. Uh, let's call it adventure and throw it on the arcade cabinet. 
I mean, if all else fails, we can squander even more money, right? That's, I think, my 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 plan for, for now. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely graphic. The idea is that you can trick children into becoming philosophers by having them play arcade games for nickels. Because this is, of course, the 80s. Um, I think this engine needs to be like way down. No, no, I've got him backwards. I've got him backwards. Oh my god, I would kill a man for a hamburger. Uh, yes, yes. We are definitely getting on to the, in, the Invento. Games create their own, their own revolutions. No, it's true. Uh, Marx is um, next week, I think. We have to finish up on Kant, and then we'll do Marx. This is um, following my critical theory class. It's going to get real weird when we get to Hannah Arendt, though. There's going to be a lot of, I don't know, fashion simulators. I'm going to be perfectly straight up with you. This isn't a good idea, which is why I want to do it, because I think it's really funny. But I'm afraid it's probably only funny to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, world design way up. Graphics coming down. See, I was doing the... Um, I was trying to get the... Um, playing the anti cons country to work. Um, in EU4. And that wound up being... Um, Wakanda. Right? I was like, okay, we're going to do a Wakanda game. That'll be fun. And then the guy who played the Black Panther died of cancer. I was like, well, maybe now it's in poor taste. So. I don't know. Uh, you, how do you release DLC for an arcade cabinet? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's going to work. They really shouldn't have DLC be a thing until like the 90s. Okay, let's go. Ring, do, 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 do. Faster. Yes. No, see, I'm hardly getting any XP. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing different. It's, make, it's making it so that I'm not getting experience from any of this. No, stop asking me that. I'm, I've lost I've lost $100,000 since the last time you, you brought this up. All right, Revolution Philosophy. It is leaning good, leaning good. All right, it ain't. We can do that. I didn't, you played an arcade cabinet for days? You are broke, sir. Nines? We're getting nines? Okay, man. Yeah, I'll take I'll take an 8.5. Don't mind if I do. Um, that's fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna do another new one. Um, and this one is going to be uh Oops. What have I what have I done there? Thinking too hard. Yeah, let's throw an exclamation point in that. The kids love that kind of shit. And it's going to be uh, mad science, casual, terrible combination, fuck you, how about science fiction, okay, virtual pet, <laughs> thinking too hard, the virtual pet is you, um, in my experience that is true of students, okay, uh, put it on the Nintendo, uh, basic graphics. You ever, has there ever been a text-based game? Just text-based game on the NES? I don't think so. Uh, let's get story quest down, like, here. And the engine needs to get, like, on the floor. Get on the floor, engine. Alright, go. Uh, now what happens? Recent studies suggest increased variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater to more mature age groups. As more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. I expect you to get fucked, because I have no intention of doing that. Alright. Mm. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, that they were on PC. I was thinking that it might have been a port, like Zork or some shit. But I don't... It might have been, like, European only. No clue. Uh, actually, art of AI's on the floor here. And then we'll do, like, uh, not even 20%. 70% on level design. Holy shit. How did you feel about my uh, theory on the superior cake? Because I remember you talking about not being that into cake normally. And I was thinking about that. I was like, what if it was a cake made of mashed potatoes and fried chicken with gravy instead of frosting? Custom engines. It's like 1986, dude. Um, graphics, sound, fuck the world. Which, incidentally, is how I feel about reality. Lack of a keyboard. Yeah. I mean, now that you mention it, it would have to be multiple choice, wouldn't it? Um, according that would be deceptively difficult. Define what a cake is. Yeah, um, I'm with you. Lasagna is kind of like a pasta cake. I mean, if lasagna is a cake, I would probably rather have lasagna than a lot of cake. That's not true. I would rather have a lot of lasagna and cake. And I want the other kinds of cake, too. I would like a German chocolate cake, a lemon cake, and a pasta cake. I don't get to have cake anymore. I get to have Ensure and banana smoothies. Which aren't bad. I don't have anything against banana smoothies. Thinking too hard. And DLC, it's the fucking Nintendo. Get a grip. Massive success of the Nintendo console. There are rumors circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of its own. Ooh. What? Let's go. And we've got. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to farm XP. Uh, total garbage. The topic? Uh, ninjas. The genre? Casual? Good. No, I'm going for great. Let's change it to... That's it. Dun, 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 dun. What does space give me? Bad combination? Fuck do you know? Pirates. Okay. Fashion. Alright. Casual fashion on the Nintendo. Okay. I'll throw some graphics on there. I also want... Well, I mean, I could have... A very thin suit. I've convinced myself to have a V8. That's going to have to do. Even then, I'm above my maximum calorie ratio right now. 7767. It's not fantastic. Uh, let's do an unbelievably expensive marketing campaign for this piece of shit game. Um, we're turning it all the way up everywhere. And I'm generating hype to get sales because it's not going to be any good. I'll probably lose fans, but I've got like 800. That'll probably be fine. Mm -mm. We're maxing it out. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.